thing here. Todd, he's also shaking. He, he says he saw Jesus. I'm weeping. I know, man. I'm weeping. What did Jesus say to you? You saw Jesus. He said he loves me. Jesus came to you in a vision. You're shaking. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old, shaking. I'm weeping. The presence of God is so strong up here. You said you saw Jesus, and he said to you, I love you. Yes. Are you going to serve him? Are you going to yes. follow Jesus? Yes. All your life? Yes. Lift your hands up and say, Jesus, Jesus. use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. For your glory. For your glory. Power go to your body. And may the gift of miracles and healing be on you. Todd, this young boy had a vision of Jesus, and Jesus was saying, Wait, wait, wait. You. Another young boy has a vision of Jesus. Are you jealous? The kids can see Jesus sometimes easier than we can because their spirit is so innocent and pure. You saw Jesus in a vision. How old are you? 12. 12 years old. And what happened? You're shaking. Are, are you a Christian? Yes. Have you been in the revival services? Yes. And the Lord's touching you? You feel that anointing right now? Oh, hallelujah. Tell me what happened. I was there, and then he just put his arms out and said, I love you. Jesus' and, and, arms were open. And, then he, had and an he embraced angel. you and said he loved you. And, he was, and when there was an angel next to him, also opened his hand. I want the arms of Jesus to open and embrace me. Somebody say that. Jesus, embrace me. Embrace me. The very tangible presence of Jesus. Touch him, Holy Spirit. Fill him up. Twelve years old. They're having visions of Jesus. The girl had a vision of an angel. Tell us what's happening in your living room. Send us a testimony right now. Awakening at God.tv. Pick up the telephone. Call us. Tell us what's happening. Jonathan. He's seen Jesus. The Lord appeared to him. And what did he look like? You told me what it looked like just now. You saw Jesus in a vision. How old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. Have you ever seen Jesus before tonight? No. This was your first time? Yes. What happened? What did you see? He was wearing white and blue. Jesus had a white and blue. Did you know that the priests, Jesus was a high priest, they would wear a white garment and underneath their tunic was blue. I believe you saw that. Did he say anything? No. You just saw him? Yes. What happened when you saw him? What happened in your heart? Did you get excited? Yes. You want God to use you? No. You don't? You don't? You want him to use your life like he uses mine to touch people? Yes. Yeah. I just had to reword the question. Put your hands up. And just close your eyes and say, Jesus, help me. Help me. Help people. Help people. Let the glory be on this young man's life. And let the visions and the dreams increase in Jesus' name. Come on, give thanks to the Lord. We just wanted to bring up five testimonies. There's many more, many more, but we just wanted to have five of the children prophesy. And what we're going to do right now is I'm going to have the first few rows cleared out, the chairs. I need to have all the purses and everything, the first three rows of chairs, because we're going to have some prayer lines. And what I want to do is I want to take that oil tonight and pray for the teenagers, the children, 19 and under. I know we could pray for 20, 30, 40, 50. Tonight's a special children healing and miracle service, so I'm really focusing on praying for the children. They need to receive revival. They're the next generation. And I'm going to step over to the altar in just a moment. 
as we have prayer lines. John, prayer lines. What's happening, Jonathan? We have a couple testimonies as we're making room for prayer. What's Todd, happening here coming in right now? This is a testimony from Greece. This has come through Twitter. And, uh, so this is Twitter. We're getting your messages on Twitter, Facebook, email. Send them in on Twitter. You just got a message from Grace. That's right. And this is incredible. It's all the way from Greece. And uh, this man's daughter, he says, <laughs> he says, my daughter has been touched by God. She's crying glory to God. Hallelujah. Even daughters, sons and daughters, <laughs> children getting touched, weeping. They'll never forget that. They'll serve the Lord forever when they get marked. When they get marked. And this is incredible. The prayer requests for children tonight, Todd. I can't even tell you how many we've had. All the prayer requests that have come in for children, I'm going to go over to the altar and pray for you. You can send your prayer request now, prayer at God.tv. The information's on the screen. Send your prayer request now, now. I'm going to step over to the altar and pray over these prayer requests. Amen. You, you, what's happening? Well, we've got a four-year-old who struggles with talking, asking us to pray from Lindy, his mother. We've got diabetes, cerebral palsy in South Africa. And we've even had somebody call in tonight saying that they need urgent prayer because somebody died three days ago. They have faith for resurrection, Todd. There's so much faith out there right now. Lord, release healing. Release healing into every home. Release healing into every heart. Release healing into every body. Release resurrection life. Let there be resurrection right now. Let there be power and authority and dominion released. And we rebuke sickness. We command cancers to go. We command diabetes to go. We command the healing of heart conditions, liver, lung, whatever it is. Put your hand on your son and daughter right now. There's healing coming through the television, through the computer, all over the altar tonight. Put your hands on the children. Lord, we just pray for a release of power. We pray for a release of healing power, healing rivers flowing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We command the sickness and infirmity and affliction to come out of your body. Uh, the fever is broken, says the Lord. Something happened. The fever, high fever, is broken in the name of Jesus. The Lord is touching a young girl with cancer in her stomach or colon right now. Healing of cancer in the colon, the stomach tumor in the name of Jesus. We command healing to come into every body, every child watching as you put your hand on them. An autism is being healed. I just heard the Lord say an autism is being healed. I command every spirit that would torment the child's mind, every demonic spirit, every spirit um, that would torment, uh, like bipolar voices, schizophrenia, command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Fear and anxiety come off your child. Fear and anxiety come off your child now watching in the name of Jesus. There's power beginning to flow. Healing coming into the bones and muscles. A rare disease affecting your child's muscles is being healed right now. Lord, thank you for healing a child's hernia. Six-year-old girl being healed of a hernia now. In the name of Jesus, Father, that power begin to be released. Asthma, chronic asthma is being healed. Open your lungs, breathe. Asthma being healed. A baby in a crib. It's like in the